If you want to make friends and you want to achieve something in your life in the process, you know, you want to make something out of your life, you want to, you want to, you know, be become a millionaire, you want to buy your own, your own house, you want to buy that car that you want, get the job that you, you dreamed of, then this is how you do it. Hey, welcome back to Gaming About Life, the channel where we play video games, we talk about life, and hopefully you are the one that gets something good out of this video, something that will help you become better, become smarter, become healthier, or maybe just entertain you and make you happy and make you smile. Today we're playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne, one of my favorite games, and I think it's a really good game to watch on the background. Um, and today I want to talk about how to make friends. Better yet, how to make good friends. Um, so first... Let's... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's get some food. Um, yes, that is fine. Yes. Okay. So, understand this. <laughs> there's a, there's a, uh, there are two quotes, actually, that um, I... In regards to making friends that I've heard over my personal development, you know, years, um, that stuck with me, which they're pretty much similar. Which one is, you are who you surround yourself with. And the other one is a variant, which is, show me your friends, and I will show you your future. Basically, what they mean is, who you surround yourself with is who you end up becoming, okay? So just look at your life right now. Look at where it is. If you feel like, or you know, that you complain a lot, or that you feel quite upset most of the times, you feel depressed, you feel, feel anxious, or if you feel like you have habits that... Once you stop to think about it, you didn't actually have them before, and you then start to notice that they actually came from somewhere, and that somewhere is actually people who you either hung out with in the past, or you that you currently hung, hang out with, um, then that should tell you, that should literally tell you that the people who we hang out with, they play a massive um, part in who we become. So just do the simple math here with me. You plus not so much of good quality people equals not a good quality life. You plus good quality people equals a good quality life. <laughs> it's very simple. It's very simple. Um, so I want to cover a few things. Um, basically, I, I think I'll just cover the, the very simple... Um, uh, I'll cover the very simple... Uh, how do you say it? Uh, first important thing, <laughs> which is how do you actually make friends? go and fucking talk to people, <laughs> okay? Like, if you're an extrovert, if you're an introvert, if you're a semi-verted, whatever the fuck you call yourself today, like, just go and talk to people, okay? Preferably in person, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, so you can see them and experience their emotions, their intentions, um, you know, that's the best way to get to know somebody and to make friendships. But, you know, if you're in quarantine and, or, you know, you're very, very introverted and you don't like going out and meeting people or whatever the reason may be, and, you know, and if you believe that reason is valid, then, hey, that's fine. I'm not here to judge you. Um, but then use the internet. Look at, look at YouTube. Look at Facebook. Look at TikTok. Look at Instagram. There's, like, you name it. There's a platform out there for you, okay? Um... And you can use that to go and meet new people. Now, we're talking about meeting quality people, okay? We're talking about not just making friends that you go and have drinks over on the weekend or that, you know, you invite them out to go clubbing or whatever. Like, you know, if, if you like to do that, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not criticizing you or anything. But we're talking about good people. We're talking about people who want to win. People who want to succeed in life. So... If you want to make friends and you want to achieve something in your life in the process, you know, you want to make something out of your life, you want to, you want to, you know, be become a millionaire, you want to buy your own, your own house, you want to buy that car that you want, get the job that you, you dreamed of, then this is how you do it. Choose something that you like to do, okay? A hobby, a sport, a, um, you know, arts, crafts, you know, all that kind of stuff. Choose something. 
go search for people in that area. That is the, by far the easiest way for you to make friends and make uh, uh, friendships that are already in a head start of, you know, making a good way. What I mean is, it's it's so much better for you to go and meet people who are, are already doing what you like doing rather than meet them at, you know, at work and when you don't like work or meet them at a coffee shop or whatever, you know, like... Because when you're already doing something that you like, it's one, naturally so much easier to talk about, you know, anything because that's that's your icebreaker, you know, you're talking about the thing that you like doing. Two, there's always going to be a, a similar topic, you know, uh, uh, something that you both enjoy and you like to talk about. Easy, okay? And three, isn't it so much easier for you to, you know, feel comfortable with somebody when you know that they kind of think like you, you know, because they're there doing what you like to do. You know, they're playing video games, they're rock climbing, they are working out, they are playing instruments, you know, whatever it may be. Oh, here comes a dive. Woo! Easy dodge. Um, so, take that into consideration, okay? Really think about it. Maybe you're struggling to meet people that are like-minded because you're not looking in the right places, you know Because you're trying to find friends when you know, you don't have a lot of similarities like, you know Let's say you're at a library and you're only there because you want to study, but you're like, ah, oh, why not talk to somebody? Uh, it's a little bit harder, you know um, At work, like, everybody's busy and everybody's trying to focus on something, you know, depending on your work environment Then it might be hard too. So anyways, find something that you like doing and go look at people um, in that area, you know, in, in that niche um, something else to, oh, I missed that one, um, something else to consider into making friends is, like I said, just go and talk to people, send them a message, go and approach somebody, like, you'd be surprised, you really, oh god, you'd really be surprised by how many people would appreciate the hell out of somebody who comes over and simply talks to them, or somebody who initiates by sending them a message, you know, like, and I mean, I, like, really, really appreciate people who go up and just compliment something and, and that's another little tip for you there compliment people compliment people on you know what they're wearing their hair their their I don't know their dog their something you know like it's so easy to start a conversation and you know with some, when when you're complimenting somebody you know okay so now that we kind of got you know the how to make friends kind of part you know because it's, it's all an experience, by the way. You're not going to make friends with everybody that you meet, okay? It's just an experiment. It's an experience. You know, just go and do it. Okay, just go and do it. Um, so, let's talk about making quality friends, okay? And this is something I really want you to pay attention. Please, understand what quality friendship is, okay? So, I'm going to give you my definition of what a quality... Where are you going? <laughs> of what a quality um, friendship is, okay? And then you can see if that uh, matches with how you think, how you live your life, you know. Um, and if it doesn't, that's totally fine too. You, you decide, okay? A quali qua quality <laughs> friendship um, to me, for me, is somebody like, and I mean like best friends, okay? I'm not talking about just like normal friendship. Like I'm talking about being like best friends. A quality friendship to me is the one that no matter what time of the day it is, if that person is free to pick up the phone to answer a message, they... What just happened? They will. Okay? They absolutely will. Um... Okay, hold on. I gotta concentrate on this. Ah, he's turning the other way. Ooh. I uh, better get off. Better get off. Better get off. <laughs> um... Yeah, so... If they are able to, they'll pick up the phone. They'll answer the message. They'll answer your call. Okay? If... They're not. They're gonna s s tell you, oh, hey, sorry, I was busy. You know, they're gonna be considerate, okay? They're gonna be considerate, and they're gonna acknowledge that, you know, try to contact them. They're gonna ask you if everything's okay. A good, and like, I mean, a really good friendship is gonna be, ow, <laughs> is gonna be one that, you know, no matter what it is, no matter how silly you may think a topic is, no matter how hard it is to talk about it, no matter how uncomfortable you feel, that friend is always going to be there for you, willing to hear what you have to say, willing to listen to every little detail and help you out. And at the same time, they're the ones that are going to tell you and call you out on your bullshit if they think that you are, ow, if they think that you are, you know, um, exaggerating, if you're overreacting or if you need to get over it, you know. 
it doesn't mean that they're mean. It doesn't mean that they're angry. That doesn't mean that they're ignorant. No, no. It just means that they care so much for you that they're willing to tell you off. They're willing to tell you, dude, just shut the fuck up. You know, chin up, man up, and let's get this over with. You know, like you're going to be better for it, you know? And you know that they are your best friends. You know that they care for you because when they say that, you're not going to feel offended. You're going to be like, fuck, they're right. Nah, yeah, okay, they're right, they're right, you know? Because if it's anybody else, if it's somebody that you don't expect, it's somebody that you don't care for, and they tell you that, you're going to be like, what the fuck, are you insane? Like, how dare you talk to me like that, you know? So, there's a big difference, okay? There's a big, big difference. Um, Okay, hold on, let's set up some bombs here. One over here. And one over here. And... Let's aim. Hold on. Ooh, bomb has been planted. Kaboom. Noise. Alright. So. Oh, can uh, ah, frick. Oh, wait. Can I flip? Yeah, I can. And pop. Yoo -hoo. Um so um yeah, so those are some traits of, of you know good quality friendship. Another trait is that person is out there cheering for you, okay? They are out there wanting for you to succeed. They're not there talking behind your back, talking shit. They're not there, you know, willing to take up a promotion over you when they know that you wanted that promotion, you know, when you've been looking forward to it, you know? Good quality friendship is the one that, you know, if you open up your own business, if you start up a new hobby, like whatever it may be, they're there supporting you. They are there saying, hey, you fucking got this, okay? You absolutely got this. That's a quality friendship, okay? These are traits of quality friendships for me. Um, and also just also little things as well. They hug you. They give you a kiss on the cheek, you know? They will, you know, like mess with you, make fun of you, but all, you know, with a good heart, good intentions, just to make you smile, okay? Those are good quality friendships. How do you make those? You simply meet new people and you make yourself a list of all the qualities that you want in a friendship and that you know you deserve too because you deserve the attention, you deserve the love, you deserve, you know, the support. You make that list and anybody and everybody that you meet from today and onwards, from the moment you watch this video, if they don't tick all of these boxes, then they are not meant to be your best friend. They're not meant to be the person who you spend, you know, the rest of your life together sharing experiences. Not at least on a deep level, you know, they could be a friend that you can kind of count on every now and then, but they're not your best friend, okay? So, you simply, and I know I'm going to end it here because, um, one, we already beat <laughs> um, Nergigante, which is that monster. Um, but also, I want to make it very simple. I don't want to prolong this too much. I want to make it simple for you to understand, okay? Because it's now black and white for me. You simply make a list of the quality, of the qualities um, that you want in a friend, you know? But make sure you don't put something absurd like, oh, they have to, you know support me and go dancing with me every time I want to and they have to bring me food every day or like that's just okay like come on let's be real here but make a list of the qualities that you want in a friendship you know the love the support you know they are willing to listen or they are you know always hugging you whatever is important to you because these were just traits that I like and that I admire and that I want yours could be different okay so it's very simple make a list Everybody that you know right now, see who makes that list. It doesn't mean that you have to cut off, cut them off from forever if they don't. But please, please do yourself a favor. And reduce the amount of time you spend with them. It doesn't matter if, you, if they were already your best friends, you know, or if they were childhood friends or whatever, you know. It doesn't matter, okay. Because if they are not, and I think this should be universal, but if they are not supporting you, if they are not helping you grow, if they are not putting you in a high pedestal, then you don't deserve them, okay? They don't deserve your friendship, okay? They don't deserve all of your attention or everything that you have been giving them. Like I said, I don't mean to cut them off completely, but just think about, like, uh, just think about this. What if you find that one, two, maybe three people 
who they love you unconditionally. They give you presents when it's not even your birthday. They bring you food, you know, on the weekends because they just want to hang out with you. They invite you out to do the things that you like to do. And they want you next to them and their family and their best friends and their partners, you know. What if you find those people? Wouldn't your life be so much better? What if you find people who have what you want? They have the happiness that you want, the health that you want, the mindset that you want, that you want the cars, the house, the, the eye, the, whatever it may be. What if you make those friendships? What if you find them? Wouldn't you want to spend so much more time with them rather than the people who just go out and make you spend money and make you, you know, that influence you to waste your money on alcohol and junk food and, you know, just, just crappy things? Please tell me if this doesn't make sense. Because to me, it's crystal clear. If you want to make friends, go and fucking meet people. Doesn't matter where. Preferably personally. One on one. And once you meet them, make your list. And analyze it. See if they match. If they don't, there are 7.6 billion fucking people in the world. Don't stop with one, with two, with a hundred, with a thousand. There's so many people for you to meet, okay? And there are people like you right now. Like you and me. You and me, <laughs> there are searching for friends like you and me who are like right here, right now, thinking the same thing like, fuck, I need better friends. I want to, you know, I want to achieve great things and I want people beside me to share these things with. So, believe in yourself, value yourself, respect yourself, and understand that you deserve and need quality people in your life so if there's anything that i can do for you if you want to become those the, if you want to make that friendship between you and i i am so open to it thank you so much for watching i hope this video made sense i hope that you are energized i hope you're motivated to go and search for these quality people because they are fucking out there okay you just have to look and i guarantee you that once you meet them your life will change. Your life will become so much fucking better. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope this made sense. And I hope it helped. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If it made sense to you, if it helped you at all, if it brought you value, consider leaving a like that's just down below. It takes you a second and it helps the channel grow so much and helps me know that this video made a difference to somebody today. And if you want to see more of this video, if you like the content and if you want to get notified too, subscribe and hit the little bell that's next to it because that way you get notifications whenever a new video is up. And if you think that, you know, there's somebody in your life that needs to hear this message and see a video like this, then consider sharing the video too. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything that I can do for you, please leave a comment down below. Reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.